Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at La MacArthur Ford, Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford Expedition. We're going to be uh, working our way through the different uh, complete guide videos. We cover all the standard equipment plus the different options that are available on the different trims. And we are on the last one here, and this is the Platinum Edition here. So we're going to cover all that equipment, all that information in this video. So if you like videos like this or want to stay updated on Ford news and information, then uh, check out our YouTube channel, hit that red subscribe button down below so you can go subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, you also get notified next time we have another video upload to our channel. So in this video, as we mentioned, we're going to cover all the standard equipment first. Uh, we'll move around, talk about exterior interior features, some mechanical features and safety features, and then we'll uh, dive in and also talk about some different standalone options available on the Platinum Tram. And there is one package also available. We'll cover it uh, and all, all the different equipment in this video. So because of that, it will be a, a, a fairly long video. So use the timestamps down below. So move around in the video all you want to. This is for your reference, for your help and assistance. Uh, so just for you to kind of just... Uh, be able to use this video as a resource for yourself so feel free to to you know save this to your playlist however you want to do share it to friends that kind of thing um and also of course move around using those timestamps down below so uh now this uh, video is the whole point of this is to be able to go and show you what is standard on a platinum trim all the different features and also what's possible what else you can add to it if you want to so if you're wanting to order one you'll know what to, what you can do with uh with that and when you go to your, your local dealer, or if you want to find one a local dealer, you kind of know exactly what you know you're getting based on what, you know, the window sticker service for the different options as well, uh, based on this video. So hopefully this does help you out. If you're struggling to find a good local uh, Ford dealer, uh, we're here to help you out. This is not what the intent of this video is. This is an informational video. But if you want to learn more about that, it's timestamp at the end of the video about our free shipping policy that we have for our YouTube viewers. So definitely check that out if you want to. Stick around at the end and watch it. And we'll talk a little bit more about that if you want to work with us. Uh, or if you're struggling to find a good uh, Ford, a local Ford dealer. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let's talk about some of these mechanical features first, and then uh, we'll move around and talk about some of the different safety and the extra styling, and then we'll get to the interior. We're going to start by talking about some mechanical features. So to do this, we're going to use Ford's website to kind of go over a few things and show you what's possible. So let's go on over there and do that. So Ford.com. Over here, be able to do that, um, be able to find that. We will uh, use our website eventually when we get to the standalone options because our website breaks that out a little bit differently between factory options and dealer installed options. So I like how we do it on our website. So, But we'll use Ford's website because they have more of the images for us to be able to look at uh, when we're doing this video. So uh, let's go ahead first. I'm going to go down here to SUVs and crossovers, go down to Ford Expedition, hit the build and price. And then we can uh, dive in here. That That is telling us that there are constraints and possible things to think about. So uh, keep that in mind. And we'll talk about some of those when we get into this uh, down the road here, uh, when we get to the, some of the different options and such. So move around here to the Platinum. There we go. Now this uh, Platinum is available in either the regular length or your max length. Max means that it gives you extra cargo room behind that third row seat. Doesn't change any of the cover, any of the, the cargo or, or leg room or anything for the first row, second row, or third row. It gives you extra cargo in the in the very back. Uh, Max length, if you laid all the seat, the third row and second row seats down, could get a sheet of plywood in there. That's how long it is. Uh, in fact, I did a video on that in, on my 2018 uh, where I kind of showed how I did that because I did need to carry some plywood. And it was easier to put it in this than it was my truck because my truck had a five and a half foot bed. Um, so I used the Expedition to haul it instead. So pretty cool on how that works. So you can get in either one of those links. In fact, let's go ahead and go with the max length here for the Platinum Edition. Uh, we'll change the price, so make sure you know that. Start your build. Uh, it does, does take up a second. It will go. There we go. And then we're going to actually go down to the powertrain information first, show you what's standard on this. So the Platinum trim does get upgraded. You do get the uh, you get the 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 engine with the auto start stop technology. Uh, auto start stop means when you want to stop light, stop sign, press the brake, it's going to uh, shut the vehicle off. Let go of the brake, it'll turn it back on. That is something you can deactivate on each engine cycle, pressing the A with the circle around it on the, uh, in on the instrument panel. Uh, you can do that pretty easily. It will also come with the 10-speed automatic transmission with select shift. And select shift means that you can shift it up and down like a manual transmission using the plus and minus. That's right there by the gear shift uh, the shifter uh, knob there. Uh, put it in that M mode, and you can uh, shift it like a manual transmission down there. This is available in either two-wheel drive or 4x4. So for the Platinum, four configurations, 
regular length two wheel drive or four x four, max length and two wheel drive or four x four as well. So the, this 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine on the Platinum does get you a little more horsepower than it does on some of the other trims. Uh, so just to note that, I can't remember those numbers off the top of my head. I looked them up, I could find them for you pretty easily and quickly, um, but I think it's getting pretty close to 400 horsepower, I think 380 or something for it, uh, but you will upgrade that and uh, so that's uh, something I want to point out. Also, too, you do get upgraded on when you go to the Platinum trim, just like the King Ranch. Uh, you get the heavy-duty independent suspension that comes with this as well. Electronic stability control, too. And uh, this one does get the continuous control dampening suspension with the suspension road preview. So upgrades that. So it helps with any perfections in the road. So as it, it sees those, it's going to go ahead and, and because of that independent suspension, it's going to be able to give you a great ride. But it also does a road preview to kind of uh, use that CCD to be able to uh, soften that suspension where it needs to and such for those different imperfections in the road. So it's, it's previewing the road ahead there. So it's pretty cool. Also, you do get hill start assist as well. So if you're on a hill, you can transition from the brake to the gas uh, without it falling drifting back on you. And you also get electronic power assist steering that e-pass so slower speeds a little easier to turn that steering wheel um, and then of course faster speeds on the highway and such is not going to push you from side to side uh, so electronically controlled uh, uh, for you also for your four by fours you get a couple extra things on the four by fours you don't get on the two wheel drives one of them is the hill descent control so hill descent control helps you as you're going you know, of course down a hill all terrain off-road that kind of stuff it's uh, very convenient to have and you get the intelligent four-wheel drive system with the terrain management system. So use that drive mode switch. Uh, for the two-wheel drive, you will have a drive mode switch. You can turn it uh, to different drive modes and such. But when you get the intelligent four-wheel drive system with that terrain management system, you get a couple extra drive modes. So you just put it in the different uh, conditions of the road that you're driving on and it's going to shift it into the four high and four low when you need it and where you need it for you and it changes the shifting of the transmission and how just things the throttle responses and everything else with those different drive modes so that's all of our uh, mechanical features i want to talk about let's talk about some different safety features i believe these are all the same safety features as we had on the king ranch edition so i'm gonna look that over and if it is i'm gonna play that clip for you otherwise we'll dive in and talk about the safety features now let's talk about some of these different safety features. Don't have a lot of clips for this. We'll throw in a few here as we go through this. Otherwise, you just got to look at my ugly little photo. <laughs> so first talking about the airbags, we do have for the front row, we have driver and front passenger dual stage for an airbag. So it's a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. Has a sensor under the seat so it can know that. Also, you have a front seat mounted side impact airbag. That's going to pull you out from the side of the seat. So if you have, of course, if you're the driver, somebody hits you from this side, it's going to deploy that airbag to help protect you from that side collision and that, uh, com the, that coming into the vehicle. Also, for all rows, you're going to have the safety canopy side curtain airbag with a rollover sensor. So if the vehicle is going to roll over and maybe it's going to break the glass from the side or even from the top, it's going to bring that and deploy that as well. And if you have a side collision, you might also have that that also get hit um, go off as well. Especially if you get hit hard enough and you start to roll a little bit, it's going to deploy those and help protect from some of that as well. Uh, we do have for the kids, we have the latch system, the lower anchors and tethers for children. That allows you to be able to take, securely take those booster seats, car seats, fasten them into those seats uh, a little bit more permanently, especially if you don't plan to take them off very, uh, off very often, and you can latch them in. Those front facing can strap back behind. You'll see those uh, in the second. Uh, there's three positions in the second row as well as the third row. So a lot of people don't realize you can even put them in the third row if you really want to. Child safety rear door locks means you can actually take a key. You can uh, turn that in the door jam or the door itself. Um, and you can go ahead and lock that out so the kids can't open those when you don't want them to. Maybe you have the vehicle turned off, but you're talking, something like that. You don't want them to get out. Uh, you can uh, That way you can only open those from the outside. Uh, we do have an advanced track with roll stability control. So uh, the goal on this, maybe you go into a curb too fast, slick outside. It'll help you keep you on your intended path. Use a series of brakes in milliseconds to get it just where you need to uh, to help you continue going where you want to go. Also, SOS post crash alert system, honks of horns, flashes of lights. If you're on the side of the road, you're in an accident, that kind of thing. That's uh, a nice feature to have. Also, 911 assist if you're in an accident that comes in handy. You have your Bluetooth enabled phone, calls 911 directly instead of uh, a third party provider or whatever, then they call the police for you. Um, it goes calls directly to 911. So, 
Also, we do have pre-collision assist with autonomous emergency braking. So you do have pedestrian detection. You have the uh, forward collision warning and you have the dynamic brake support. So it's going to, if there's someone going slower than you, uh, you're not paying attention, series of tones uh, that you, you just need to stop. It'll just wake you up, make you um, put your eyes back on the road. Also a series of, of uh, actually the screen, I believe, just flashes red for you and lets you know that. And then if you don't hit your brake, it will. Uh, so one of the, the King Ranch is something that gets the autonomous emergency braking. Uh, so that's a great feature to have along with that. Intersection assist as well. So if you're turning into an intersection, maybe you don't see, maybe there's two lanes there and there's somebody in that blind spot and you don't see them when you come across and it sees that there's someone coming, it'll break the vehicle so you don't continue going over and getting hit in that intersection. Uh, backing up, you will have reverse brake assist. So kind of like the pre-collision uh, pre um, for the uh, going forward, as you're backing up, it'll you know alert you, let you know you need to stop. And if you don't, it will initiate that brake so you don't run over different you know bikes, kids, or anybody else as you're backing the vehicle up. Also, we do have the post collision braking. So uh, again, if you're in that accident and you know a lot of people maybe forget to put it in park or they're unconscious, post collision braking will assist with that couple last things, you have your lane keeping system. So this is a good system. It does have the driver alert feature to let you know if you're taking your hands off the steering wheel too often. You have your lane keeping aid system and alert system. So the alert system is gonna allow you to leave your lane, but as you do leave your lane, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. The aid system will help when you get over to the line to help bring you in that line. It does have to see those lines, so this is why it's a, it's a uh, safety and assist feature, driver assist feature, but it's not doing it completely. Um, also, we do have the advanced security package, including the security lock, the security passive and a theft system with the perimeter alarm. So security passive and a theft system means that only the coded key can start the vehicle. Pretty nice to have. So it locks that steering column out unless the coded key is in the vehicle, then it'll let you start it. The perimeter alarm pretty much means that when you have that vehicle locked, if someone tries to go up there and, you know, push it, you know, whatever, try to get in the vehicle, pull the doors, it's going to shake. It's going to set the alarm off. Honks the horns, flashes the lights. Also on top of that has intrusion and inclination sensors, uh, which the, the inclination sensors means if they try to jack up the front or the back to take those wheels off, it's gonna set those alarms off as well. And then the intrusion sensors is if you they try to break the glass, get inside it, it feels any kind of motion inside the vehicle when there's nobody else in there it's gonna set the alarm off as well. So I will say the inclination and intrusion sensors sometimes, right now they're having some constraints on some models. So this may be something that they may require to remove, just so you know that. But the perimeter alarm itself will still be activated and still be available with it, which means that if they were to you know try to shake the vehicle and such, it would still go uh, set the alarm off. So uh, those are all of our safety features. Let's talk about the styling now on the King Ranch Edition. So now we're going to get into extra styling. Uh, to start with, we're going to go over the different colors available for the platinum trim. We do have the gate black metallic is available. We also have the star white metallic tricoat that is a thousand dollars because it is three coats of uh, paint, three coats different colors, uh, just a little bit to give you that nice look to it. So a tricoat there looks beautiful. Uh, we do also have the I believe that is the infinite blue metallic that is a tinted clear coat, so it is five hundred dollars. For that because uh, of that clear coat and uh, we also do have the dark matter metallic no co extra cost for that color looks really good in person as well we do have the jewel red metallic tinted clear coat so again a clear coat so it's five hundred dollars for that one have not seen that one in person uh, yet but i believe it's a, a little bit darker than that um, we do also have stone blue metallic that must be a clear coat as well because it is five hundred dollars for that color and then we do also have uh this last one over here Click on that. I think it's Iconic Silver Metallic as well. Uh, so that is a no cost for that color there too. So uh, so let's go ahead and I like to pick a different color for each of the different videos. I uh, don't know if I've chosen, uh, did do the dark matter on one of mine. So let's go to, this is always the hardest part because <laughs> I like to choose a different color for each trim and I can't remember which ones I've done. <laughs> so let's go ahead and hit that stone blue on this one here. It looks beautiful. And uh, we'll go ahead and hit this and enlarge this here and get a little bit bigger for us so we can kind of talk about this bring it up a little, a little bit there we go so looking at the extra styling first talking about the grill each trim has its own dedicated grill so this in here does have the satin aluminum bars so a little bit different look than the king ranch and the limited with the uh, painted silver lining mesh behind it and again that mesh is a different design as well with the chrome inserts as well on those so you can kind of see the chrome inserts in there 
Uh, so pretty cool how that's just going to impact and look for you. You do uh, still have active grill shutters, just like the other trims do. They're going to open and close when they need to, uh, depending on how fast you're going and such, to allow for as much air in as it can. But yet, I give you some aerodynamics if it doesn't need the air, like when you're going on the highway and such. Uh, bumpers are going to be body colored bumpers. That's this section right here. So you're going to be body colored throughout there. So the upper bumper is going to be body colored. Uh, lower also, you get this uh, this lower part down here is going to be, um, well, this lower part is also going to be stone gray. That's this part right down here. And then you also have a section here where it's going to be a silver lining. Uh, they call that kind of a bumper skid plate uh, there, but it's going to give you a nice little bit different look to the vehicle. You can see the front sensing system with those sensors right through there as well on the vehicle. You also get 360 degree camera, so there'll be a camera under the front uh, emblem. On these side mirrors, you kind of see that bump right there as well as one in the back, so you can see completely around you, uh, which is a nice feature to have on this particular vehicle, especially when you have that extended link there. Configurable daytime running lights, so those can be configured to be on during the daytime if you'd like to. That's something you can activate and deactivate, turn them on and off in your lighting section of your vehicle setting screen. Automatic headlights, if you have your headlights in one of the auto setting, they'll come on automatically when it's dark, shut off when it gets light. Uh, your headlights are LED reflector, uh, so much brighter with the LED signature lighting as well that goes around here right there. So pretty bright with the bright bezels as well in there. Fog lights are also LED with that bright outline in the bezel uh, there too for you. Um, you also do get wiper activated headlights, which means when you turn your wipers on, the headlights will come on. Some states it is a law, so Ford will make sure you, uh, you're covered there. Automatic high beams as well, so when you, uh, you know, need your high beams on, they'll come on automatically. So it's dark enough outside, they'll come on. Someone approaches you, you're in the city lights, it's going to sure turn them off. And that is something you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section again in your vehicle settings screen. Also, if for your 4x4s, we didn't select 4x4, you're going to get the chrome front tow hooks up here as well for it. So you'll get uh, tow hooks coming out right there and there. That's where those little slots are for. Uh, so you have the, tow, the chrome tow hooks on the Platinum Edition here. Now moving to the side, for the windshield, you do have rain sensing wipers. So if you have it in one of those intermittent settings, wipers can come on when it starts to rain. The harder it rains, the faster they're going to wipe. Also, you do have the laminated windshield up here, laminated acoustic or acoustic laminate windshield, which means it's two pieces of glass with plastic in between. So it's going to make it a little bit quieter, but also if something were to hit the windshield, it's going to keep that the glass together. So that way it doesn't come into the vehicle too. So it's going to help protect the occupants using it with that too. Uh, the wheels, 22 inch, 12 spoke polished aluminum wheels. So really dressing up. This is your luxury trim, your top luxury uh, trim here. Going to give you the 22 inch wheels. And that's also where you get the CCD, the standard equipment here, all season tire, as well as standard equipment. You'll have the individual individual tire pressure monitoring system, four wheel disc brakes with ABS as well there for you. Uh, you do get panoramic Vista roof. So you're gonna have that glass roof up here with the power sunshade and the front panel that will open up if you want to. Also, mirror caps are going to be that satin aluminum finish here, so it kind of matches along with your grill and, and such, as well as your door handles, we'll talk about in a second. It uh, does have uh, on the those mirrors power folding with the auto fold. It means you can, when you lock the vehicle up, those mirrors are going to fold towards the glass. Help protect them from getting broken or anything with, in parking lots and that kind of thing. Also kind of a nice feature to have so you know, I mean, you kind of know visually that your vehicle's locked. Um, power and heated glass for the mirror itself. Uh, you do get security approach lamp that's going to light the ground beside the vehicle. Uh, turn signal indicators as well. So if you have your turn signals on, you're going to see those light up right over here. Um, driver's side view auto dimming mirror, which means the cars want to pass you with those bright lights. It's going to dim that mirror on that driver's side. Also, it has memory for the driver and front passenger mirror. So it knows what position it is based on what driver it, uh, is driving the vehicle with those memory settings. Also, you get forward facing spotlights too. So you can kind of actually, it's, uh, part of this is the over here is the light, but you do have a forward facing spotlight as well. So that's something new for the Expedition. We see it on the Timberline Edition and we do see it on the Platinum Edition. Uh, so that's uh, pretty cool having that front facing uh, floodlight or uh, light there if you need it there, which is uh, pretty cool to have that spotlight. Uh, there's one on each of the mirrors, left and the right hand, with the switch inside for those. Now you do get the bliss with cross traffic alert. That's that blind spot information system. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. As you're backing up, someone's going to cross your path. It's going to use a series of tones for you not to back up. Uh, lights up your dash is red. Even on the backup camera, we'll have an arrow showing you which side they're coming from so you know there's someone behind you. And if you're not paying attention to that and you continue to back up, it does have... Uh, rear uh, cross traffic braking on the vehicle too. And then if you're pulling a trailer, 
trailer, the bless it will monitor the blind spot of the trailer as well as part of the blind spot system, the bliss system. Uh, belt line molding is going to be that nice bright belt line molding. It'll actually polish stainless steel is what it's called. It wraps around the back. You'll see it when we get to the back of the vehicle. Uh, body color door handles with that satin aluminum finish inserts on those door handles. It will have four door um, intelligent access. So that means you just put your hands in the door handle. It's going to unlock the vehicle. I had to get out. Press the ridges on the top of any of those doors and it's going to lock the vehicle up. So uh, make sure if you're trying to unlock or lock the door that you don't put your fingers hands in the door handle. It's going to unlock it. If you try to do that and press it with your thumb, it's going to it's going to lock unlock on you. So you want to make sure you just press it on the top without putting your hands and door, door handle. I like to tell people that. Also, you do have, we're going to actually turn this around just a little bit. So this other view, enlarge it back up. We do have the um, invisible uh, keyless entry keypad. So uh, you can't see it in here, but you would swipe down, have that keypad there so you can you program that if you want to. You want to leave the keys inside or access it without the keys, you can use the keypad getting in and out of the vehicle. You also have remote start on the remote itself. So if you're close enough proximity, you can remote start it using the key fob, which is going to come with two of those key fobs. Um, the roof rack uh, crossbars, they're going to be the satin aluminum finish out of the end caps as well as the side bars. And you'll notice this does have the crossbars as well. This does have a, the advanced cargo manager. It's standard equipment on the Platinum Edition, so you get the crossbars, standard equipment. And we'll uh, talk about what else you get with that here in just a little bit. Um, power deployable rental boards uh, does have these, uh, of course, the polished accent on the side of those running boards so they're going to pull it down for you when you open the doors you will get the platinum badging on the door as well over here um, and then privacy glass on the uh, second the rear doors as well as the rear quarter windows and the back glass for you and easy capless filler door as well so you just push that i uh, don't have a uh, cap to worry about leave behind getting your hands dirty anything like that just put the nozzle in there when you're done just shut the door uh, the second door there's a double door system for that when you put the nozzle in so the inside one has two latches on the side so it has to be the correct size nozzle so if you're trying to use a can or something to maybe if you run out of gas you want to use the funnel that's provided with the vehicle you also get zone lighting that lights up uses the lights uh led lights here those uh, fog lights uh, on the front as well and uh, the ones that light beside the vehicle behind it to be able to light cooler around it so it has four different zones one on each side front and back you can light up all zones if you want or pick your zone uh, which is really cool i have that on my truck and really like that so moving to the back you have a body colored uh, rear spoiler back here with a center high mounted stoplight third brake light uh, some people might call it rear defrost with a rear wiper on this uh, rear glass which does pop up separate from the lift gate if you want to lever is going to be camera is on the left side or the right side of the camera which is funny because i have one of these but um off the top of my head i can't think i think it's on the right side anyway you do have a rear view camera back here so you can see as you're backing up uh, don't forget about the accent here on the lift gate. That's going to be that satin aluminum finish, expedition lettering as well there. And uh, you do have uh, the platinum on the back. Uh, you will have the max on there too if you have the max length as well. Uh, review, uh, reverse sensing system back here. So as you're backing up, uh, you're just going to alert you if you get any close to anybody. And you also have reverse brake assist, kind of like the front one, that if it's you're backing up, you're not braking and it knows there's somebody there and alerting you and letting you know, it'll brake the vehicle for you. So autonomous braking and assist sense backing up you'll have this uh silver painted rear skid plate back here with the reflectors on there also the hitch cover uh this does come standard with a hitch class 4 receiver hitch four pin and seven pin wiring trailer sway control as well does have the uh, spare tire up underneath you can access that through there uh see here molding on the top of the rear bumper back here as well um kind of got off my notes let me just make sure i got everything covered here um, cargo area protector and uh, also inside you do have as part of the advanced cargo manager you get a shelf divider system so you can actually have a shelf to, to tear out your your cargo up and down as well as you can like um, swing it inside and have it forward and back if you need to so if you want to have that there and you have you know basketballs footballs or whatever you don't want them to roll out you can put those inside there with that using that cargo manager system also does have a power point inside in the rear cargo area as well as a cargo area light in there too. Uh, underfloor storage as well for it. Uh, all those different features that comes with it. Uh, I think I've covered everything else. So, um, so let's go ahead and move inside. Talk about some of the interior features now. All right, now moving to the interior here. First, talk about the co color interiors for you. You do have the black onyx interior that's available, as you can see there, with a nice uh, stitching and, and such on that. 
Uh, you also do have, and you can see how that looks for the uh, the our overhead too. You go to the light sandstone, you're gonna, instead of getting the ebony headliner, you're now gonna get the light stone. Seat's gonna be light stone. Still have some black environment in there too, and a light stone across the dash, uh, but it just kind of changes a little bit, gives you a little bit of, of tan interior for you. Now, if you wanna go uh, a little bit further, you can also go with the Carmelo interior. So you're getting more of a brown look to it, a, a darker tan. Here for you and for those seats you're going to get the ebony headliner there in that case uh ebony seats and accents on the doors on the door uh, poles and armrests as well as the side rails over here on the console side rails what they call that as well as the accent on the dash so that's kind of what that would look like based on the different three colors kind of like this color interior well i think it might stick to it um, you do get the active noise control uh, so it's going to be make it a little bit quieter in the vehicle so people can just uh, talk and such again give you that luxury feel uh, uh, for those different convenience features. Scuff plates with the brushed aluminum inserts on the front and the rear. Uh, so for that. Uh, carpeted flooring, of course. Floor mats as well for the front uh, and the second row that will be upgraded with a Platinum Series uh, edging on those. You can kind of see that right in there. Uh, so uh, upgrades those floor mats. Ambient lighting. It's going to light up the footwells, the cup holders and such uh, with that ambient lighting, the media hub area too. Uh, I believe it'll be ice blue no matter uh, what. Uh, leather wrapped... Uh, uh, door rollovers, I uh, mentioned that right over here. You can kind of see the difference in that. You will see the quilted uh, inserts as well right there too. Pretty cool in how that looks um, on the vehicle. So pretty cool. I like I like the interior look of this. Eight passenger seating, so it's going to seat... Uh, actually, it's uh, I, I didn't I didn't move this over from my other videos. <laughs> it's a seven passenger seating. Um, correction for next year: seven passenger seating. So you're going to have uh, captain chairs in the first row and the second row with the armrest, and then three passenger seating and the third row back there as well. So you will have, uh, of course, pecan stitching uh, for these. So let me get you a little bit closer look so you can kind of see what that looks like. So uh, move down. Uh, so there you go. So that's stitching. Pretty cool. Uh, it depends on what color your interior you go with. You're going to have quilted bolsters, you can see there, and different color uh, stitching in it. it. does say pecan stitching, but I'm not sure. Uh, I think if you go to Carmelo, it might change a little bit. You will see the nice uh, stitching here on the console uh, cover as well in the accent. So looks uh, pretty cool how that looks. And then you're going to see that stitching over here on the side too. So maybe that is pecan stitching. So there you go. Uh, also, multi-contoured seats with the active motion. Active motion means you're massaging seat features. Talk about the possibility of that being removed in just a little bit. We'll just have to see. Uh, we'll have to see. It depends on the different constraints that we have going on. Ten-way power driver seat and eight-way power passenger seat on the vehicle. Uh, we do have heated and ventilated seats uh, on the for the driver and front passenger, and we're going to have the heated second row seats as well for those in the rear seat. So heated seat back here for them. Power folding uh, with the armrest uh, with tip and slide for the second row. So there's a lever up here. You just pull that and it'll tip and slide, meaning it'll keep that same position for you. So if you want to put a car seat, something like that in there, you don't have to worry about taking it out if people need to get in the third row. You just do the tip and slide and it keeps that position and those harness down in there. So you don't have to worry about that, which is kind of a real nice feature to have. Also from the rear cargo area, it does have a lever for these two seats to be able to fold down, power fold down from the clear back. Uh, and they're, they're a left and a right button for those also for the third row seat same feature there that you can power fold those down too as well uh for the third row seat so pretty cool third row seat can come back as well from the back but the second row can't you will have to put that in position manually from getting inside so that's uh, a little bit different on how that works uh, on the console on the back of the console you're going to have auxil uh, auxiliary auto uh, or your climate controls back there you have usb ports uh, type A and C, an outlet back there as well. Um, so all that, the heated seat controls are gonna be back on the back of the console too. So a lot of different features back there. Um, third row seat does get, uh, does say luxury vinyl with the quilted bolsters and perforated seat inserts. Uh, we see that typically on third row seats, uh, vehicles. And uh, I think I covered everything there. Um, and smart charging ports. Yeah, third row also gets USB ports. Uh, USB type A on each of the sides of those uh, seats. Uh, on those panels. Uh, now for the windows, we do get power windows. Uh, Wada one touch for the first and second row windows. So auto touch means to go down automatically all the way without you having to hold it as well as coming up. So you, you have one touch up and down for the first and second row seats there. Um, you also do get power door locks with auto unlock and lock, which means when you start going a certain speed, they're gonna automatically lock the vehicle for you. When you open the first the driver's door, they'll unlock the doors for you. 
Also does have power adjustable pedals with the uh, memory for those. So those pedals will adjust forward and back electronically and be included in your, in your driver memory features. Power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So they'll electronically go up and down, forward and back and also included in the, the memory. So your seat, steering wheel, uh, pedals and your mirror will all be included in driver memory for three different drivers. Those controls are there on the door. Um, you do also get Waldorf's leather wrapped steering wheel with pecan Euro style stitching, heated steering wheel as well as included. Uh, and you get the intelligent adaptive cruise control so this intelligent adaptive cruise control uh will basically allow you to be able to control that if you come behind somebody it'll slow you down to go their speed until it's fast uh safe for you to to pass them and it'll resume even bring it to complete stop and, and go again if you need to uh if you stop for too long you may have to hit the resume button but otherwise it should go on its own depends on how long you're stopped you do get lane centering assist as well, which means it'll help try to keep you in the center of your lane when you have that cruise control activated. So uh, it's just a nice assistant feature for you uh, for that system. Um, also, you get speed sign recognition. So uh, when you change uh, to a different speed zone, it'll adjust the cruise control based on your tolerance above and below the speed limit that you want to go. Um, and that's a pretty nice feature to have right there. And it kind of saves you on those speeding tickets sometimes. And even when the cruise isn't on, it'll actually flash for you if you're hitting a zone that's maybe different. So uh, that's pretty cool and how that all works. Uh, also, this one does have the Blue Cruise 1.0. So Blue Cruise means you can go hands-free driving. So when you're on the highway, you have that cruise set. It's kind of using that lane centering assist system. And then uh, you're able, at certain times, it'll let you know. And you can take your hands off the steering wheel and just relax, and it'll drive itself on a lot of the different uh, the highways and uh, there's a lot of them that now are activated uh, many many different uh, highways that you can go blue cruise um, i went to a trip from here to st louis and went the whole way about all the highways on the way there um, every highway was uh, included in the blue cruise so a lot of hands-free driving on that trip and so that works really well you do have to be watching the road so it does have two sensors uh, that are over here one over here and one over here that loads that is making sure that you're watching and paying attention so uh, by we recently just found out this is ranked as the the best driver assist or um, in a sense hands-free driving system on the market right now so that's pretty cool uh, also you do have along with that active park assist 2.0 uh, so that it's going to help you parallel park the vehicle reverse perpendicular park and even park out from those tough spot parking spaces being able to use that system for that so that's also included with this uh, it does have the instrument cluster as a 12.4 inch multi-color productivity screen with the full digital display here so um, your speedometer and your tack is going to be digital along with everything else on there. So pretty cool big screen right there for you to see. It does get your push button start. We're going to go in 360 mode here. So push button starts right there. So you can get the, out, get the keys out to get in or out it or to start the vehicle, which is pretty cool to have. Um, also does have the tri-zone uh, climate control. So the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures as well as those in the third row seat. Uh, you can control that right in here in the lower part of the screen, as you can see. Uh, this does also have the B&O Unleashed sound system by Bang & Olufsen. 22 speakers, including a subwoofer. Also get Sirius XM satellite radio with a 360L version and the Sync 4A with a 15 and a half inch uh, screen here that gets the, the enhanced voice recognition system. Uh, also does get the wireless phone connection, cloud connected services. You get 911 assist as well. That'll call 911 if you're in an accident and such. Um, also get the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, uh, digital owner's manual, uh, adaptive dash card. So you can see right in here, uh, it'll have your most last used uh, different apps that will just go up there. So you just press it and it's going to show up on the top part of the screen. Um, pretty cool features on how that works. It's right there. Personal profiles as well. It works a little bit different than a driver memory. The personal profile also will include your radio stations uh, for that per that particular driver with that key fob and when uh, what they were listening to, where the climate they had it, a couple other things that are included in that personal profiles, which is really cool. Conversational voice commands, which means you can say OK forward instead of having to hit the button for it to start listening, uh, kind of like your Alexa or Google Home uh, at your house will work. Um, also does have the connected built-in navigation with three years of service included uh, with that navigation with the live traffic, the predictable destinations and the route guidance and everything like that now up here in the mirror it does have an auto dimming rear view mirror so no lever to worry about it's going to automatically dim it when it gets dark and cars behind, the, behind you with those bright lights do does have an over glass or on the overhead console sunglass uh, holder here or whatever you want to put in there switches for your uh, twin panel moonroof as you can see right there um, on the visor it does have the garage door openers on there 
uh, three different transmitters you can program in there. The visors do flip down with the vanity mirrors in them, and they can actually slide over and rotate over on the side over here to block the sun for you. Now down in here in the media hub area, that slides forward and then gives you a media hub area. Wireless charging pad down in there, wire, uh, USB type A and C cord to plug in as well in there. We're going to dial shifter here. There's your plus and minus for those different select shift if you want to go with that. You don't see the drive mode switch, but it is located right back here behind the, between that and the console. In the console, you have a PowerPoint in there, padded armrest as well. Um, and then, uh, of course, real, it does say real wood accent as well um, and on the uh, console area there too. So pretty cool uh, and how everything works there. And you also get the Ford Pass Connect that allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. You can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere, remote start the vehicle from anywhere, even schedule remote start times, see the tire pressure you have, the fuel you have in the vehicle, and even where the vehicle is located all through a free app that you download, connect your vehicle in. Uh, so it's one of the most used apps of any other automaker and a pretty cool app. I use it about every day. <laughs> so uh, so that's all, all, all this that we talked about so far is all standard equipment and is included as part of this so when we go to these packages it is all included as part of the what they call the 600a equipment group the platinum standard equipment but let's talk about a package that is available if you want to upgrade for your trailer towing so let's talk about the heavy duty trailer tow package for a second that is the only package available here the other package is a dealer installed option and it just it has two features in it. this package include is included here uh, that's available for you at 795 on the platinum trim as you can see that's going to upgrade your gear ratio from a to a seven uh 373 non limb slip rear axle for you also gives you the integrated trailer brake controller so you can control the uh your brake your trailer also, the Pro Trailer Backup Assist, that allows you to control the trailer instead of trying to figure out if you need to go left and right to make that trailer go the direction you want it to. You just use your camera or your backup screen and the dial to be able to control the trailer how you need it to go and where you need it to go. Also, upgrades the, the rear view camera to digital. Uh, reverse Brake Assist, it already, it's already included in this. You get the two-speed automatic four-wheel drive system as well with the neutral tow capabilities, so giving you that the too high too low so you just put it in the drive modes what you want it you don't have to use the you don't have to use the drive modes i mean you can just use the four high four low on the four by four system that sits on the outside of your drive mode uh, also you're going to have the uh, of course you get 360 degree camera already standard equipment but you also get the trailer reverse guidance it allows you to be able to see beside that trailer as you're backing up so pretty cool on how this all works uh, this heavy duty trailer tow package just allows uh, for a little bit more uh, it upgrades the gear ratio but more uh, more than anything it gives you a lot of the different nice uh, upgrades for you to be able to, to manage your trailer and that that kind of thing a little bit easier giving you all those different cameras and angles and the driver assist those, those uh, trailer uh, drive features uh, or assist features I should say that upgrades it for kind of pulling that trailer so uh, definitely a package you can get if you want to and right now I believe Ford is requiring on some of the trims to add that because they can to, so that the vehicles can be built uh, so this is a definitely a cool package you probably want to make sure you add all right, so for the optional equipment, we're going to actually go over, uh, because what Ford likes to do is throw in their dealer installed options along with their factory installed options, and I like to break it out in my videos. Uh, and we actually have something similar to this on our website. We do have a build and price. Uh, the company that we use to do our build and price, uh, they actually use the order guide, which is the order guide's 100% uh, uh, up to date there. And so we like to use that. So we're going to go four wheel drive like we had, uh, Max um, and uh, Platinum. Uh, the only difference here is our website doesn't always upgrade the you know and change the colors and stuff on the vehicles it'll change the colors like if we had the i think we had the stone blue uh chose um actually it says yeah that's an extra cost um there you go so it actually does upgrade that but uh, not a lot like it doesn't have the interior photos and everything like that but moving down there's that heavy duty trailer tow package we were talking about that's included uh or that you can get on this uh vehicle and then moving down uh we do have the this here is, is the second row uh, one touch removal of the power windows. So that's, uh, you're still gonna have power windows. You just won't have the second row one touch feature for the windows. That is a required option right now. They're asking to remove it because of park constraints and such. You do get a discount of $50, but you will have to add that to your vehicle if you want it to get scheduled. So something to keep in mind um, when you're ordering these and when parts are available, they'll allow it, but otherwise they will require for you to move that. Now I did see this on the order guide as well. So the roof rack crossbars black, um, now I was um, everything I've I've read is that that is actually included in part of the advanced cargo manager 
Um, so I'm not on, I'm not quite uh, under see it even it shows it there. So I'm not uh, uh, quite sure on this if those are going to be included as standard equipment or if you have to add the this uh, option. So I would assume you have to add it. And maybe the advanced cargo manager they're talking about is just the shelf in the back. And then the graphics on Ford's website is incorrect. Um, so that's, but that is something I did notice on the order guide and uh, haven't seen that that difference because that the advanced cargo manager is supposed to give you the shelf and shelf divider in the back and the crossbars. Um, and that is standard equipment on the platinum trim according to the order guide. So don't know if maybe it's just a shelf system that's standard and then the crossbars you have to add. So. Um, the floor liners, front and second row with the carpeted. So it does have, if you want the all weather mats, uh, kind of show you what that looks like. You can upgrade for that. You will still get your carpeted mats and you'll also get the floor liners. So you can also, you can get both of those there. And I'm just kind of making sure I cover everything and make sure our website's up to date is at the same time. <laughs> the front license plate bracket states that require front license plate, standard equipment. Don't have to worry about it. It will be included. States like Kansas is not. So you want to make sure you add it as an option. You'll notice it's no charge though. So you can make sure you get that. Engine block heater. If you live in a state that's a cold weather state, you need to keep your vehicle outside. Dead of winter, really cold outside. You want to plug that into your house. It'll help keep that engine block warm so it starts up a lot easier the next day. So that's also uh, something that you can, uh, that's a, another factory installed option. So all these are factory installed options. You can't get the floor liners later, but if you get it, they're included when your vehicle it gets shipped out. Also, the dual headrest rear entertainment system. Uh, you can get this. Um, does show an image of that there. There's those headrests, two different players, two different sets of headphones. You can put all kinds of things. You can, um, you know, USB ports with uh, with music on it and stuff. You can put an Amazon Fire uh, on stick thing in those as well. That kind of thing. Uh, so that is also something that they used to have the dealer install those. Now they're installed at the factory. So they're listed as an accessory, but if you do put it on your vehicle, the factory will will install that. Um, you also know the Active Park Assist 2.0 removal. So this is right now a required option as well because they are having issues again with uh, constraints and such that will be removed on the vehicle if you want to get it scheduled. Um, required options. So if you have your order in there, they're just going to go ahead and do that and add that for for their, uh, for their it. So just uh, keep that in mind uh, so it can get scheduled. Now moving down, you do have the control track with elect uh, the electronic limited slip differential. So if you want to, you could upgrade to the e-locker. Uh, so if you have the tow package, uh, the heavy duty trailer tow package, you get the 373. Uh, with this package, you'll also get it. It'd be a limited, the electronic limited slip as well. Um, now, if you don't get the heavy duty trailer tow package, you're going to get the you're going to get this 373 e locker as well. So you're upgrading the gear ratio and uh, giving you the the e locker there. So that's an option for you as well. And then also you can upgrade and get a 22 inch six spoke polished wheel instead of the one that comes with it so it'll be a different style and look to it uh, so you can upgrade to that wheel also if you want to they're both a 22 but that's your upgrade now you also do have the second row power folding you can go to the bench seat if you want so 595 you can go from the bucket seats at standard to the bench seat so uh, i'm not sure if they have a they don't have an image there but you can upgrade to that still going to get the standard leather and everything else like that but you can upgrade to the bench seat if you want with that system too so there you go um and then moving on down we have there's different colors uh, options we have some dealer installed options as well down here so we do have the uh cargo man the cargo organizer so that is a cooler bag again this is available through aftermarket um so i encourage you to do that that's why sometimes i don't even like to cover the dealer installed options because all these are available through Ford accessories. Uh, but that is a cooler bag that you can uh, get on the vehicle. Again, it would be put in your vehicle upon the vehicle arriving to the dealership. You have the cargo protection package. So this in here is going to give you a re reversible mat and a cargo net. Uh, so that's going to be, those two will be included in that. They call it a package. Whenever there's more than one thing, they, they throw it and call it a package. Uh, so there you go. That's what that's going to include. You also have these cargo organizers, a, a, a large one and a standard size one. Uh, they are foldable, um, collapsible uh, cargo bag. You pull them out and you can put things in there and manage your cargo. Uh, again, those are both available through Ford Accessories website uh, at about the same price. And you have the wheel lock kit. So wheel lock kit, if you want, it'll have one of the, the lug nuts are taken off of your wheels and you put the lockable one in there so people can't steal your wheels. Uh, again, that is something the dealer would install upon the vehicle arriving. Also can get through Ford parts, Ford Accessories, I should say, 
put it on and do that yourself if you'd like to. So um, there, there you go. Those are the different options for you, including the dealer installed options. Uh, so everything is done right there. So there you go. So that's all of our standard equipment we talked about, the heavy duty trailer tow package and your standalone options, including your dealer installed options. Now, something I did not see on Ford's building price, it is actually, or on our building price, it is actually on Ford's building price, is on this anterior here. Uh, right now, it is a required option to remove the multi-contoured seat feature, that massaging seat. So that is a required option right now. Um, as you can see, the removal. Um, that's currently a required option on the Ford F1, on the Ford Expedition. So I kind of wanted to point that as well because I did not cover that because it wasn't on our building price. Uh, but that comes and goes sometimes. Uh, I think it just became on the, the most recent order guide that it, we had to add that to your vehicle. Uh, so sometimes if you're lucky, you might uh, that might not be able to be removed. Uh, Thirty uh, three hundred dollar credit if you do add that. So just so you know, uh, that's available. Want to make sure I covered that. Uh, so there you go. That's all of our, our all of our information here. Hopefully it was very informative for you. You liked it. If you did, smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget, you can order an Expedition right now uh, if you want to from your local dealer. Uh, you can also find some of these on dealer lots or see more expeditions out there. Platinum is a hard one to find out there, so you might have to custom order, uh, but order banks are open right now and pretty easy to get those scheduled right now as well. So you can go ahead and put that order in with your local dealer. So when you're talking to your local dealer, make sure you kind of know what kind of pricing they're going to do for you on that. Uh, make sure they know a little bit about price protection, uh, which means that they're going to protect the price from the time you order it. And so that way, if the price goes up by the time it comes in, you don't pay that price increase. So not all dealers know about price price protection or will honor price protection. So make sure your dealership knows about that. Also, make sure you know they know how to lock in any kind of special rates and incentives. Right now, the Expedition has some pretty good little incentives because uh, Ford's trying to push the Expedition um, production and such. Uh, and because of that, they do have special incentives. You want to make sure they lock those in, which means that whatever the incentives are when the vehicle was ordered are the incentives you get when the vehicle comes in. So they can choose one or the other because sometimes they could be better when it comes in. Uh, but hopefully that's, uh, you know, that's locking in your rate. So hopefully your dealership knows about that as well. So you might ask about both of those things and make sure they know how to do that. And if you're struggling to find a good local dealer on that, is that you can order with us. We are taking expedition orders uh, and we are doing that. We're honoring MSRP pricing. We're also honoring uh, the, the, we know how price protection works as well as locking in your rates and such. And we know all about that for your order. So we'll make sure you get covered on that if you want to work with us. And if you do want to work with us and you'd like to have it shipped right to your door, we do uh, cover $1,000, up to $1,000 of the shipping cost uh, if you finance with us. So and if you want to do that, uh, we can help you out there. Uh, if you want to use the low interest rate, we can't, this is not compatible with any kind of Ford's low rates uh, in there. So it won't be compatible with that. And if you're wanting instead, hey, I want to take Ford's low rate, not a problem. You can always fly and drive your vehicle home if you'd like to uh, make a trip out of it. A lot of people like to do that with us. And that way, you know, you're getting a vehicle from a, a, a dealership that's transparent and honest and knows how to make sure that we make some changes to your order to get it scheduled and such and keep you apprised of that information. And we're transparent about it. So that way you can get scheduled as quick as possible. And we even have a live stream where we cover a lot of this information. You can check out every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Central right here on our YouTube channel as well. So speaking of that, don't forget, if you're not subscribed, hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified the next time another video uploaded to our channel. Uh, you can find us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. There's my link to account if you want to see all the different places you can find the different content that i have uh, and connected to different social media sites as well as our podcast and where that you can find that and, and on different youtube channels and my personal youtube channel right there by using a link to your account again thanks for watching this video hope you liked it don't forget to stay positive be kind to one another be kind to yourself and we'll see you in the next video bye